the Americas. This evening, I've got MUA alumni, Dr. Peter Plumeri joining me, um, answering some questions that we often receive in the admissions department at Medical University of the Americas. So Peter, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So just a little bit about Peter. He is a dual citizen of the United States and of Italy. Um, he actually worked on his master's in Italian literature at Rutgers. Um, when he began volunteering at his father's gastroenterology office, uh, he soon realized that rather than becoming an Italian literature professor, he wanted to become a doctor. He is now an emergency med medicine resident and says, you go in and work nonstop for 10 or 11 hours, and then you go home and are totally off. I like the um, acuity of the patient and the past case environment. So that's a little bit from his bio. Um, but Peter, let's jump right in. Um, how did you first hear about MUA and what went into your decision um, for choosing this school? So uh, as you were saying, you know, with my um, original plan of being an Italian professor or teaching, um, I was in the ER shadowing and I uh, really was interested in emergency medicine. I'd taken some uh, prerequisite courses, um, but not everyone. I didn't take physics. Um, so I went online, I started doing more research, and I found um, MUA required a couple of the prerequisites, which I had. I did more research on the school. I looked at some uh, DO schools as well, um, but you know, I, I really liked MUA, and um, so I applied, I got in, and started, and that was that. Mm. Why did you choose MUA over other medical schools that you researched? So I looked at other uh, schools in the Caribbean and, and, and did more research on that. And I saw that the class sizes um, in some of these schools were 250, 300 students or above per semester, which seems like a lot to me when I noticed MUA. And when I spoke with um, the school, they said uh, between maybe 60 and 80 students, and that's what my uh, class was, so I, I felt it was a better learning environment with the smaller class sizes. Were there any specific aspects of NWA's learning environment that you enjoyed? Uh, I really liked how focused everything is at MUA, um, especially getting towards the USMLE step one, which mm -hmm. is uh, for a medical student probably the biggest test you'll take. Um, you know, and again, with the small class sizes, I was really able to, to learn well, and I had any questions at all, you know, the professors were all very approachable and, and um, you know, very willing to have after hours uh, meetings as well as meetings with the TAs to make sure you understood the material and did well on your exams. Can you tell me a little bit more about what your relationship was like with your professors? Did you feel like they were available and helpful to you? So the professors are definitely available. You know, if you don't understand something during class, you can go up and speak with them um, during a break. Uh, and then afterwards, um, you can meet with them at the end of the day. You can always email them, set up um, the session to go over certain material if you don't understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have uh, all positive relationships with my professors from a learning perspective. Yeah. What was Nevis like? The food, the ease of the lifestyle? Can you tell me about your experience? So Nevis is a very quiet island. Um, you know, so I, I showed up in St. Kitts, I went over to Nevis, and it's obviously very, very nice, you know, being in the Caribbean. But uh, pretty much everything you need um, is there. Uh, certainly things like you know, Amazon and Chipotle are unavailable. And, uh, Nevis, which you know, miss a little bit, but everything else you is there. The food in the cafeteria is great, and you know, you can get everything you need at the grocery store. And there are multiple grocery stores in Nevis, and um, you know, the uh, adjustment for me wasn't too bad. You know, it was um, you spend most of the time studying, but you can definitely take advantage of uh, hanging out at the beach after your exams. Were you able to be prepared well for the USMLE Step 1, and how did you do? So, the, as I was saying before, the, all of the classes um, are very focused, 
both on your learning and they gear you towards the USMLE. The, uh, I think what really benefited me was in the fifth semester, we have um, the second part of pathology, kind of a systems-based pathology. And then I think the last six or eight weeks, we had a Kaplan review course built in, as well as independent study time afterwards, which really helped gear me towards the um, comprehensive exam, the comp exam, um, which you take before step one. Um, so I, I did study hard in that, and uh, I did pretty well in step one. I am, you know, I did uh, well above average, and I was very happy with my score, and I think that definitely led to my success as a resident. I agree. Tell us a little bit about your research literature review and analysis paper um, that you did at the end of the basic science, and how did that help you with your residency? So I, uh, after I took step one, I, my research project, you, you start it while you're on the island in basic sciences, um, you do a couple parts and then the actual full paper you do after um, step one, I, I chose to do research on each pylori, which is a bacteria that can um, affect your stomach. Um, and that, that, I didn't really have much medical research coming from an Italian literature background. So it did teach me kind of how to find uh, resources, medical resources, and um, uh, different journals and articles and, and kind of put them together. And I use uh, what I learned in the RRA to focus with what I'm studying now, um, which is I'm working on a project um, in my local community with um, hepatitis C and HIV screening, um, as well as I'm um, working on a case report from an interesting um, surgical patient that I had in the ER. So all of the uh, tools that I learned in my RLA are definitely being applied in residency. That's outstanding. How did MUA's clinical department prepare you for and support you as you transition into your clinical rotation? So the transition from basic sciences uh, to your clinical years, you know, is definitely different since you spend most of the time in the hospital as opposed to the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, the clinical department, you know, lays out the transition um, really well. You know, they gave me a full schedule of where I was going to do my clinical rotations and a timeline um, I had of, you know, studying for my um, exams for each rotation. And then uh, they supported me in my pursuit of emergency medicine. You know, you could um, find hospitals to do rotations at that you'd like to match into or match into that area, which um, MEA helps me uh, obtain and um, complete those rotations. Okay. What was your favorite clinical rotation and why? Uh, I, favorite rotation would be my emergency medicine once. Uh, I did a, one of them at LSU and, and uh, another hospital in Michigan. My favorite site um, would definitely be uh, the hospital in Homo, Louisiana, Chabert. I did, um, I spent uh, most of my time uh, there during third year and also some uh, during fourth year. Um, just the learning experience I got, the foundation in internal medicine. Uh, my um, uh, attending was Dr. Glippu, the great teacher, and he uh, really laid down everything since internal medicine is kind of the basis of all. Uh, medicine, especially for step two. And then on the surgery location, we're at the uh, Dr. Garcia is a great teacher as well. So, yeah. and I've heard at Helma that you can actually be first or fifth. Is that right? Yes. Uh, in the surgery um, rotation, you um, pretty much every day are in surgery and are involved in all different kinds of surgeries retracting, helping to suture, you're very involved. And the same with internal medicine, you're, you have your own patients to round on and the residents there, who are a lot of them are MUA uh, graduates, um, help you learn to write notes and uh, prepare you for residency. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask, how did your clinical rotations inform your decision for residence placement? So, uh, the, I, I kind of knew before I started MUA, I wanted to do uh, emergency medicine. You know, I, I was open to other um, ideas. You know, I, I, I did have an interest in infectious disease as, um, you know, the, in the ER we do see a lot of infection. And 
So, um, you know, I, I did my rotations, but I still kind of had a, you know, my interest in emergency medicine and went into that. Okay. So what are you up to now? And can you tell me a little bit about your, what you're doing? So I am a second year emergency medicine resident. I'm currently on ophthalmology since we see a lot of eye complaints uh, in the ER, it's a two-week rotation. Um, but uh, I'm having, you know, a lot of fun. I uh, keep in contact with my study group, which we're on the island, I think is a great tool. Um, you know, during the first semester, we kind of formed a study group and um, we all had different interests and we've all matched. Um, one of the doctors, Dr. Joey Garcia, is a family medicine resident at LSU Alexandria, and then he's going to pursue a sports medicine fellowship afterwards. Uh, Tyler McLaren, he matched um, internal medicine, possibly doing pulmonary critical caries at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. And then uh, Dr. Zakeel Tracy's uh, LSU Shreveport, he matched in radiology. So really, really happy for him. But we all, we all keep in touch and. Uh, you know, we all are all very happy that we were successful. That's so exciting to hear about you and yourself and your successes so far. Congratulations. Thank you. Is there anything in particular that you would tell an MUA candidate as we go throughout the application process? Anything you would share with them on things they should consider as they apply to our university and look at others? So I think that all candidates, you know, should do their research about um, the school since, you know, all medical schools are a big commitment, but I would definitely recommend anyway to anybody who wanted to pursue um, medicine as uh, I really think that the smaller class sizes helped a lot um, as opposed to just being a number. I think I would feel that way if I was at another medical school with three or four hundred students in, a, in the classroom as opposed to feeling like an individual or if I needed help, I could um, easily obtain it. And, you know, being down on the island, you definitely want to work hard and be persistent. You know, you're not always going to do well on every test, and you just got to keep working, and you'll, you'll succeed. Perfect. What was your favorite part of attending medical university of America? Uh, I think my favorite part, uh, you know, after the exams, we'd all go to the beach and hang out. And, and you do forget that you're on a tropical island. Mm -hmm. day, day out, you're just, you wake up, you go to the, you know, your classes, you come home, you study until you fall asleep. Um, and it is, it is you know, tough to do that for three, four weeks at a time, but afterwards, just hanging out with uh, your friends, you know, after an exam is, is really nice, especially if you're on the beach and it's snowing back where you live in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Well, Peter, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. So uh, so your research component uh, module that you completed here and what you've done with it since, um, and of course your accomplishment as an emergency medicine uh, resident. So congratulations. Thank you. If anyone considering applying to Medical University of America has additional questions, please don't hesitate to email us at admissions at mua.edu. We can also be reached at 978 862-9500-1. Thank you so much, Peter. Have a great night. Thank you, you too. Bye.